My name is Renee Kerner. My company is Big Fish Farms. I call myself a fish farmer. <laughs> That's, what do you do? I'm a fish farmer. Then when I say caviar, I raise caviar, the eyebrows go up and usually there's some questions. I've been in the wine business and the food business for a long time and um, I was feeling like I really wanted a challenge. Like a, I really wanted something that was gonna challenge me every day. <laughs> and then I got it. I would say I'm passionate about food. Yeah, I am. And I don't think, not fancy food, just good food. There's this beautiful aquifer under Ohio and Kentucky that's the second largest aquifer in the world and it's the most pure. People want to know where their food comes from and they want to make sure that it's raised in a way that's environmentally sound. And there are other people that are doing what I'm doing right now and whenever we talk caviar, they always say, oh, Renee, you don't have to do that. You just have to do this. This is good enough. And I always think, okay, you guys keep doing good enough because I'm going to do great. These guys are so gentle. That's the one thing that I really like about them. Um, they're, I don't know, they're, they're just, they're great fish to raise. Paddlefish are indigenous to the Midwest, and that was kind of important to me. I didn't want to do something exotic. I wanted to do something um, regional that belonged here. I have fish in about, I have about 200 acres under contract right now. We put them in and we let them go. And then at that point, it takes eight to 10 years before we see caviar. I've always been in sales, so I knew the sales and marketing part of the caviar would be fine. Once it, and, uh, and I love to cook and I've been in the kitchen a lot, so I knew I could make caviar. But uh, the actual filling the tanks, water quality, feeding, moving fish, that kind of stuff I always thought my husband would be doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because everybody talks about how when you start a new business you shouldn't expect to make money for two years. Even when you intellectually know that, going into it, it's a lot different than when you're actually doing it. So and for us it's even longer than two years. This is uh, Benjamin. Benjamin is my grandson. Benjamin has been my biggest helper so far. It's fun for kids. I mean you're getting wet and muddy and playing with fit. It's great. I'm hoping that one day I'll be able to create a very successful business and that if he's interested, that I'll be able to leave it to him. You think you might feel like doing it? Maybe, probably. Yeah. He's young. He's got a lot of time to decide. If people ate my caviar with the happiness that I'm making it with, you know, that would, that would please me immensely. If people really, because food should bring joy. There's a lot of love in that caviar. Ha, ha, ha.